The RSPCA is urging the state government to take action against what it calls horrific acts of animal cruelty being carried out against feral pigs. Farmers and hunters use dogs to track the animals, which cause enormous damage to native bush and agricultural land. And a warning, this story from Elise Edwards contains some disturbing content. Tristan Thompson and Nathan Thomas drive this pothole property of Calliope in central Queensland a few times a week. The empty sorghum paddock has been ransacked by feral pigs. Right, I will go play these dogs up, eh? Yeah. We get permission off our farmer and we come down, we study the property, we find out where the water is, where the feed is, what the pigs are doing. They're here to hunt and kill the beasts and maybe take home some meat. This is Molly, she's wearing a seatbelt wearing protective plate. She's also wearing a tracking collar. In Queensland, it's legal to use dogs to flush out and bail up wild pigs. But the animals must be dispatched quickly, either stabbed in the heart or shot. Baits, um, you don't know what you're going to bait. You don't know if you're going to bait not native wildlife. Um, a pig can die days later. Catching do uh, pigs with dogs is the most ethical way to catch a pig. There's no suffering, it's a, it's a humane kill. Social media, though, reveals a different side to pig hunting. Posts show animals being mauled, chased to the point of exhaustion, clipped and hit again. The, the Act stipulates that if an animal is going to be uh, destroyed or, or put to sleep, it must be done quickly and humanely, and that's certainly not happening. Over the past few years, the RSPCA has seen an influx of dogs used for pigging at its shelters. Evidence of what it says is a growing and gruesome pigging subculture. Look, the reality is, um, particularly in Queensland, it's, it's a national pastime now. Young guys get in the ute with their dogs and off they go for the weekend. Um, a lot of them very inexperienced. It is quite alarming and I think um, the seriousness probably hasn't been recognised. I would urge the RSPCA, if they have uh, evidence of cruelty. They have a role in investigating that uh, themselves, but if they need more support from the government to do that, then uh, they, should, uh, they should raise those concerns uh, with us. The RSPCA says it's almost impossible to prosecute offenders, but in May, the organisation had a win. Brothers Nang and Tom Chang and their cousin Stanley Vang were convicted of animal cruelty. The investigation began after this disturbing video post on Facebook. The young hunting dogs in training attack a piglet for several minutes. Its legs are bound throughout. The men were fined $5,000 each after more vision was seized in a raid. But the RSPCA says recent legislation could mean tougher penalties. If that was to take place now, we would certainly be looking at charging them under that serious animal cruelty. Um, section which, which carries a, a maximum penalty of seven years imprisonment. Out on the hunt, Thomas and Thompson say people doing the wrong thing should be penalised. Go out and see firsthand how responsible hunters um, do the activities that they do. It's, it's sad, yeah, it is sad, but you've got to respect the animal itself to understand that what you're doing is for the better of more animals and, you know, the property owner and the environment. It's estimated that feral pigs cause up to $100 million in agricultural damage in Australia every year. They'll eat almost anything, from crops to fruit, small animals and even livestock. The RSPCA doesn't argue about the need for control, just the method of its execution. Elise Edwards, ABC News, Central Queensland.